There's something I'd like to point out. One little uh, thing that should be noted when you're building a barn door like this. Uh, you'll see that here's a gear, here's a curved rod. Uh, one thing that's somewhat important is the plane, the horizontal plane of this gear should coincide with the center of the hinge. Often I've seen drives where the it could be mounted, I'm exaggerating here, but a little bit too high and the hinge will be down there and you're going to have a, the, the, the gear will end, end up lifting or dropping and cause problems. Now what I did here, the way I take care of it in this drive is take after doing a bunch of measurements now if I come back, here's a flat wheel, I'm not measuring anything, I'm just showing the horizontal part of it. This is, this bearing is now mounted so that it's, on, it's in plane with the center of the hinge right there. It's perfectly flat with it. Just going like this. There it goes. Right in line with it. You know, again, it doesn't have to be measured down to a millionth of an inch, but you don't want it like this, you know, something like that, or down here somewhere. You know, it has to, this horizontal plane has to be over here, and, and, and it's something worth noting. Uh, in fact, the gear itself is, if you look at the, uh, the way this is cut, it's cut somewhat loose, so that... It rocks a bit, so it'll take up any any little bit of slack that's in there. And then of course, the weight of the camera comes down and it'll hold it flat. But you just don't want that way off. You want to be pretty close. So pretty much, uh, let's see. If I can look at it this way. Yeah, it should be just about in line with that, just like that. And there's one other thing I wanted to mention that I never see mentioned anywhere else. Uh, mounting these rods, uh, one mistake I made with this project is I never really found a really good way to mount the rod to the wood. The little uh, section of rod that's in between the boards here is actually curved. I bent it back a little because you have two horizontal surfaces and a curved rod it would tuck in if you just tried to mount it so so actually this section up here of the rod is has been pulled back I, ju I just simply put vice grips on here and a wrench up here and wrenched it back and then cleaned up the threads and it takes a bit of tinkering but there's a, I'm sure someone else will find a better way to do it and one thing you have to look out for is the rod, we're always concerned about the curve of the rod like this. Oh, this has to be exactly right. Okay, we all know that. But it can't be off in this dimension. Going when it when it comes down, you don't want it this to be off rotationally. If this is, you know, if you can kind of see if, if this thing were if I were to twist this. In fact, let me take this out and you better see it. Not only does it have to come right down the center, but it should be, it, it's, it should not be ro rotation, it has to be rotationally correct. It's the only thing I could say. Otherwise, it's going to, it's going to go, whoop, whoop, have a weird curve to it. So, you got to take care of that. This one is, is not bad. It's off a touch. I just have to touch it up, but it's, it's off a tiny bit. I can get rid of that. As long as it, when the gear is in, it doesn't bind. The main thing is, it's not when you have the gear on here, you don't feel it binding against. You don't feel it binding against the uh, bearing. It should rotate very freely. Um, in fact, one way to tell. Let's see. See, this is an idea. See, this only tells you that this tip is lined up. It doesn't tell you if the rest of it's okay yet. But one way to tell. 
is it gives a nice little ring. It rings nicely. You know I mean? Now if it were way off, I mean, that's what happens when it's way off. And you have to push it into place like that. That you don't want. I'm, I'm artificially doing That you don't want. You want it to flow right in. And that's it for this. And any other questions, let me know. Astro Kids signing off.